guys, I am Katie from Mitzah Creek Farm. Welcome back to my channel. As you can hear behind me, the birds are chirping. We have green grass. It feels like spring is finally here. We have been working on projects galore, and one of the big things we've been working on is putting in a bathroom down by the stone coop. Now, the big thing is trying to get all of this done in time for Sydney's graduation party because we are having a big party for her and it is gonna be held down at the Stone Coop. So that was kind of our big push to get things done so that hopefully I can get everything up and running so that our retail space will be open this fall down here. Um, so we'll have a bathroom, we'll have electricity, we'll have all that down here, hopefully this fall. So let me walk you through this process that we've been in, in building this bathroom. It has been quick and easy. We're building it to match the greenhouse that we built last fall. And um, today the siding goes on. So let me walk you through the process and what we've been up to on that. <clears throat> and then um, I'll take you back when, when I get through that. Um, we'll go through what we're doing today and the siding. So this is the tank that we bought. This is what's called uh, an enclosed fiberglass privy tank. It includes the toilet seat, as you can see here. And the permitting for this through our county is super simple and super easy. Because it is fully enclosed and fully pre-made, I just need to fill out the application and get the permit. They got the whole dog and the bottom tamped really well. Jump in and there so you can see how deep it this is. Uh, will make it so we have a nice hard surface for this to sit on, and then we'll pack the dirt in all around it. The hole got dug a little too big, but that's okay. We'll fill it in and tamp the dirt all around it. That is a really big hole. So now the boys are getting the uh, tank put in place on where it needs to be, um, and then when it gets in the right spot, then we will um, start filling it in with dirt and getting it tamped down really, really well so it's a nice solid surface all along this entire tank. And now Beck finally gets to do what he wanted to do this whole time. He gets to climb in the tank and figure out how it's built and see how cool it is in there. <laughs> weird. Weird. What? Are you sure not Oscar the Grouch in the garbage can? No, Kermit the Frog from, from Muppets Most Wanted. Okay. He calls up the toilet. <laughs> Go all the way in. Uh, oh. ah! I hope that you don't get stuck in there. Because then that would be pretty embarrassing to have to call the fire department to get you out of the toilet, okay. huh? <laughs> okay. Sorry, that's I guess I get a toilet. <laughs> and we can't get it out. Come 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 look in the hole, see how big it is. Like I told your grandparents, it'd be kind of awkward to go to the bathroom in the middle of a building. Go, go look in it. Yeah! <laughs> Hunter, get it. Call him. No, get your head down. Keep calling him. Phone. Keep calling him. Hunter! Where's your boy? You. Keep calling him. Hunter! <laughs> That's like no surprise to him. 
looks like, yeah, he you looked, know, it's happened. He looked, you're okay. Yeah, He's gone. <laughs> he left you. Come here. He's he's not impressed. <laughs> Probably from the soup bones. Toilet seat. The toilet's built in. What? That's the toilet. That's the toilet. Toilet seat. So what goes on that big tube? A vent. PVC pipe. He's supposed Where to meet us down here. <laughs> he was supposed to meet us down by his bathroom. Can we step on the dirt? Uh huh. <laughs> Sid, how do you like Beck's bathroom? <laughs> 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 that was kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you fit in there. Oh, you fit down there. Sid, you could probably fit down there. That's gross. Oh, gross. It's a bathroom. So do you want to get in there? I yeah. <laughs> How would I get out? Of I don't know. <laughs> I can get some, but I don't know about you. Fine. Just go. <laughs> I don't want to go any further than this. Sid! Wimpy! Sid, it's the only time you'll ever be able to do this. <laughs> Just do it. That's fine. I was all the way underneath there, all the way over there. You're really fine. Because Beck did it, Water you'll be fine. This deep. It's less than an inch. Less than a half an inch. I don't know. Sid, <laughs> just go down. Okay. Just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> don't splash. <laughs> Go get the fire department. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, Sid, would you just let me help you? No. Did you have any comments? Um, I think I need to start working out more. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I gotta go down there and get the fuel anyway. Okay. Oh, it's so cold. What did you do? I think you're gonna go ahead first. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
not stupid. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Can you grab that? Whoop! All right, back to the build. So we have the frame built and the dirt packed around it, and we are ready to pour concrete. Owen's parents and my parents came over to help. We were able to get this poured in just under two hours. It went quick and easy. Um, Beck was able to put the kids' names in the concrete and the year, and then we were able to let it sit for a few days, and um, then we were able to put the walls up. Now with these walls, we built them like we did in the greenhouse, we built them um, actually in our green shed and then we carried them down and put them up um, because that was a, something we were able to do while it was raining and the weather was icky. So the walls were up and ready to go in just a few hours. The roof is framed. Uh, the window, we're trying to figure out the window height yet. Um, so we have it so that it goes to right here. Um, and so that's what that's for is for the window header um we're going to just put a temporary temporarily smaller door here um so that we have it done but we're gonna put a, a stud here so that when we get the wide enough door for wheelchairs we can just take that stud out and then put the new one in but the walls are ready to go the roof is ready to go Next up, we're going to start siding and put the window and door in. Now this is when we started getting bad weather, but um, once the siding was up, um, they started working on the roof, and in between roofing sessions, we were getting some pretty nasty hailstorms. But it just took a day or two, and they were able to get the roof put on, the window cut out, and the door hung. And then to give it the final touch, my dad built a window box and I planted some flowers. All right, here we are. And the bathroom is pretty much finished. It is ready for Sydney's party. And I'll walk you through and just show you um, what we did and what we have left to do. But for now, this is absolutely perfect and exactly what we need for her party. So um, we have just some patio blocks here. We, we um, are planning on pouring a concrete sidewalk going in so that it's all one level. Um, we're also going to pour a ramp on the front of the stone coop, um, but we just we don't have enough time. Now, um, the door here is just a temporary door like I explained earlier. Um, I'll show you in the inside how it is framed. Um, I bought a new doorknob for it off of Amazon, um, and we just have um, a simple little latch to keep it shut. Um, on the outside, my dad built this window box. Eventually, we are going to stain it so it matches the greenhouse and the stone coop and the high tunnel and then paint all the trim black. Um, but we just don't have enough time and um, we're getting tired. So um, we also have to finish sealing it up so we don't have any critters in here. Um, so we will take hardware cloth and staple up so that that is fully sealed. Um, and then the batten needs to go on as well after we get it stained. So we will stain it, paint the trim, um, stain the batten and put the batten on here and the greenhouse at the same time. Now, um, um, I have these flowers in here. Um, I just put those in. So uh, they are looking good. Um, I'm gonna give them a little drink of water here in a little bit. Um, I do have a rose bush planted here. Um, and my hope is is that we'll keep it pruned out in front um, but then my hope is is that it'll eventually grow up nice and tall and, and then it'll also help kind of block the window and it'll smell pretty too so let's go inside so right away on the inside 
We put the privacy film on there just so that people were more comfortable in here. You don't actually see the toilet um, from the window, but um, I would be uncomfortable with that, and so I just wanted to make sure that everybody was comfortable with it. So we have the privacy film on there. This window does open um, with the same latch system that I have in the greenhouse, and um, then we can close it when we want to. Now eventually, um, this will have a screen on it to keep critters out if we leave it open. But it is pretty warm in here, so um, I'm just letting it cool off a bit. And then here, if I shut the door, we just have a basic latch that just goes like that. And you can see in the framing, let me zoom out a little, there we go. You can see in the framing that it is actually framed for a 36 inch door. So this is just temporary. So we want this to be fully handicapped accessible. And so when we get a door, we'll just be able to cut this stud out here and open it up and mount, mount it to right there. And then um, we will have a 36 inch door. You can see that the greenhouse um, ceiling makes it so that uh, it is nice and bright in here. We don't need any lights. Now we are getting electric put in down here, um, but we won't need to prioritize having um, electric run in here for lights for till at least fall, if not longer. This is wonderful. Um, on the dreary, yucky days, it still is nice and bright in here. And I am loving that we did that because it doesn't make it feel like a dark and yucky outhouse or porta potty or whatever. Now on the walls in here, we are gonna spray foam these and then take white um, milk house panels, is what I call them, utility panels. And they're like a plastic um, waterproof wall. And so we're gonna do that whole thing on the inside in here and where I'm standing. So in front of the door, this is um, six foot and it will fit uh, um, an adult size changing table. So people who come with uh, family members or whoever, um, if they are an adult or a larger person and they need to um, be changed, we will have that space in here for that. It's not massive, but um, it surely beats, um, most people I know can't even bring their um, children who are in a wheelchair or need to, um, be changed or anything like that they can't bring them to a pumpkin patch or christmas tree farm because there's nowhere to change them so i wanted to make it so that it was 100 percent accessible um from the start now over here is the toilet in that corner and um it looks great it uh is seems to be perfect we did put in a grab bar there and we will probably be putting one in right there as well um but for now we have the one grab bar which I think is gonna work out good. And then over in this corner, we have the, the garbage can, extra toilet paper, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a broom there. So when all is said and done, we spent somewhere probably about $1,800 to $2,000 on this bathroom so far. And we have a permanent handicapped accessible um, facility for guests to come um, when they are out here shopping and picking up their stuff to go to the bathroom. And so that is a huge value that was added, not just to our property, but to our business as well. Um, because now we have this, um, it will make life so much easier. And then we don't need to worry about people wanting to run up to the house to go to the bathroom. Um, not just for Sydney's party, but for things in the future. And when we are fully open down here, um, we have the facility. And so that will make life so much easier. Eventually, um, I would like to have a hand washing station or something of that sort put in down here, but that requires, um, it, it required some extra, I don't know if it was extra permits or just extra um, rules that you had to follow. And so we're just using hand sanitizer for now. Um, we do have a hose down by my greenhouse that if people want to wash their hands with soap and water, they can do it down there. Um, and I will look into that. Um, it won't be this year, but possibly next year, 
um, for an actual soap and water hand washing station. Um, I don't remember the requirements off the top of my head. And so um, since we are so close to Sydney's party, we just got to get this done. And so that, that's what we're going with for now. All right, that is it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next time.